For years now, scientists and researchers have slowly been unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Although the majority of the time this is a slow process, the end results give us a glimpse into what the universe has to offer. Some discoveries though create more questions than they answer. For example, astronomers have announced that they've discovered an exoplanet orbiting a pair of very large stars. This exoplanet is around 280 trillion kilometers, or 173 trillion miles from Earth. But scientists have said there's a problem. It shouldn't exist. The reason for this is that it's so gigantic that it goes against our current understanding of how planets are formed, and that it challenges everything we know about the universe. This monster planet named GJ3512b is not that much smaller than the star it orbits, with scientists saying that their data showed them that the star it orbits only weighs around 270 tons more than GJ3512b. With researchers saying that for comparison, our sun weighs over 330,000 times that of Earth. This led the team to say that this planet shouldn't exist. Photographs were taken by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, which can be found in Chile, and the photograph shows a star system that has inside of it two supermassive stars. Christoph Mordesini said the following, Around such stars, there should only be planets around the size of Earth or somewhat more supermassive Earths. While Juan Colos Morales said the following, For the first time we've accurately characterized an exoplanet that cannot be explained by the core accretion formation model. This exoplanet proves that the gravitational instability model may play a role in the formation of giant planets. As stated on NASA's website, with the core accretion theory, planets start as small rock ice cores that grow as they gravitationally acquire additional mass. For example, with Jupiter, the traditional view is that Jupiter first formed a rocky core, several times the size of Earth, which then attracted a still larger outer envelope of gas. This process is known as accretion. As of right now, scientists and researchers are carrying out further research on this star system saying that this discovery adds another exciting chapter. Whilst we may not be able to feel, see, or really understand it, the universe is constantly expanding. This, however, is not normal in the sense of the word. We are located within our galaxy, the Milky Way. However, the galaxies outside of ours are moving away from us, and the galaxies that are the furthest away are moving away from us faster. If you were to be in a different galaxy, for example, this would be the same. All galaxies outside of that galaxy would be moving away from it. They're not moving in the conventional sense of the word because they're moving with space rather than through it. While it's difficult to understand, the universe itself has no center, and everything within it is actually moving away from everything else. A famous analogy coined to explain this expansion is thinking of the universe as a loaf of raisin bread dough. As it's cooked, it rises and expands, and as a result, the raisins move away from one another, but they're still inside the bread. At this point, you might be asking, why isn't Earth moving away from everything else then? This is because on a local scale such as around us, gravity keeps everything together and holds it in place. This was first discovered in 1925 by Edwin Hubble, the man the famous Hubble telescope is named after, and he proved that there was a direct relationship between the speed of distant galaxies and their distances from Earth. This is now known as Hubble's Law. The number meaning the rate of cosmic expansion in relation to speeds of galaxies and their distance from Earth is known as the Hubble Constant. In the last couple of years, even up to recent years, new evidence is suggesting that the universe is expanding much faster than initially first thought. The universe is outpacing all of our expectations in its expansion, and that's very puzzling. This was from lead study author Adam Rees, an astronomer at John Hopkins University, 
who co-won the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics for helping discover dark energy. This new evidence suggests that the measurements of the Hubble constant, mentioned earlier using cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the early universe and the Big Bang, is actually conflicting with estimates of younger stars and even the Milky Way. This discrepancy is still apparent even after taking into account dark energy and other cosmic forces that have thought to be spreading up in the universe's expansion. This has and is still being disputed by other scientists and cosmologists, with them saying that it's incorrect or incomplete data. However, fresh new research from the Hubble as new as 2019 suggests this gap is actually larger than ever. It's estimated that the universe as we know it is now expanding up to 9% faster than we originally thought. This is when examining the trajectory of the universe's expansion from the Big Bang. So what does this mean? Well, with the discrepancy between the rates we believe the universe is expanding now, and what we believed it should be from the trajectory created from the Big Bang, means that scientists could be missing an essential fact in the cosmological model when measuring that would account for this discrepancy. For now, at least what's missing is a mystery, but with all the fascinating discoveries we've talked about, it would be no surprise that if in a couple of years from now we're discussing a new strongest material, or a new type of formation on a distant planet, or even a new theory of the universe. One thing is for sure though, as we try and figure out this wacky, wonderful universe, it certainly won't be boring. So what do you make of these interesting space discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.